Chapter 9 Accessibility 9.1 Accessibility is about giving access of a product, service or facility to the individual. This implies whether all users are able to access an equivalent user experience when they encounter a product, service or facility. Like when we can see to the PWDs, accessibility draws significance as it is the primary tool for their empowerment and inclusion. Point two, the concept of barrier-free design dates back to 1950s at global level when its applicability was understood with respect to built environment. Slowly, other dimensions of accessibility such as transportation, an ICT ecosystem were considered as part of the concept of design for all. 9.3 The persons with disabilities, equal opportunities, protection of rights and full participation act 1995 for the first time prescribe limited accessibility features such as ramps, lifts with braille and auditory signals and adaptable toilets in public buildings more specifically in hospitals, primary health centers, and other medical care and rehabilitation institutions. Partial coverage of roads and transportation system was also envisaged. The act neither provided for prescription of standards of accessibility nor any timeline for their compliance. 9.4 the discourse on accessibility underwent a sea change with the coming into force of the United Nations Convention on Rights of Persons with Disabilities, that is, UNCRPD, in May 2008, which is based on the social model of disability. Article 9 of the Convention deals with accessibility. It mandates the member states to take measures to eliminate obstacles and barriers to accessibility, especially in the following points. First point, buildings including schools, residential houses, hospitals and workplaces, roads, means of transportation and other indoor and outdoor facilities. Second point, ICT ecosystem including electronic devices and other services. Third point, promulgate and monitor minimum standards of accessibility. Fourth point, provide buildings and other facilities open to public with signage and braille. Fifth point, provide training to stakeholders on accessibility issues. Sixth point, ensure access to information. Seventh point, promote design, development and distribution of accessible ICT and system. 9.5 India became a party to the Incheon Strategy on Asia-Pacific Decade for Persons with Disabilities 2013-2022. to Goal 3 of this strategy lays thrust on creation of barrier-free environment for persons with disabilities. It aims at enhancing access to physical environment, public transportation, knowledge, information and communication. It also emphasizes the accessibility of urban, rural and remote areas based on universal design, increases safety and ease of use not only for PWTs but also for other members of society. 9.6 With a view to prioritizing accessibility culture in the country, the Accessible India Campaign, that is Sugami Bharat Abhiyan, launched in December 2015 by DEPWD, incorporates the philosophy of the social model of disability as incorporated in the UNCRPD and in Chan strategy and expanded the scope of accessibility along with its coverage. It envisages provision of accessibility in all facets in public buildings, transportation, and ICT ecosystems. 9.7 Further, the Rights for Persons with Disabilities Act 2016, that is RPWG Act, gave impetus to provision of accessibility. 
The Accessible India campaign thus serves as an instrument for actualizing the aims of accessibility embedded in the Act. The output of Accessibility India campaign is being periodically reviewed to improve outcomes through targeted interventions. 9.8 the Accessible India campaign has the following three dimensions of accessibility. First, 9.8.1 Built Up Environment. The objective is to enhance the proportion of accessible government buildings by making provision for features such as steps and ramps, tactile paths and corridors, wide entry gates reserved parkings and toilets to name a few second point 9.8.2 transportation system the focus is on providing equal rights to travel and use of public as well as private modes of transportation airports railway stations and bus terminals as well as carriers that is railway coaches and buses and related services such as ticket booking, inquiries, booking status, booking of special assistance, etc. are being developed to provide barrier-free services. 8.3 Information and Communication Technology that is ICT ecosystem with the increased dependence on digital and virtual services. The Accessible India campaign is also promoting accessibility in websites, public documents, and media content on TV, while also working towards training of sign language interpreters. The key objectives are enhancing proportion of accessible and usable public documents and websites that meet internationally recognized accessibility standards, enhancing the pool of sign language interpreters and also enhancing the proportion of daily captioning and sign language interpretation of public television news programs. Point 9. The RPWG Act 2016 mandates the government to frame accessibility norms in respect of built-up environment, public buildings, transportation system, ICT ecosystem, and other facilities and services. Further, the government is also required to take measures to provide accessibility features at bus stops, railway stations, airports, and also ensure accessible routes to address mobility necessary for PWGs. It also mandates the government to take measures to ensure that all content available in audio print and electronic media and electronic or consumer goods are available in universal design 9.10 as per the provisions of rpwd act 2016 central government notified the rpwd rules in june 2017 Inter alia laying down the rules containing accessibility standards for public buildings, passenger bus transport, websites, and documents to be placed on websites. 9.11 For the purpose of effective and real-time monitoring of progress of targets under AIC, the MIS portal was launched in September 2019. Further, Sugami Bharat app 
a crowdsourcing mobile application was launched on 2nd of March 2021. This app is a means for crowdsourcing of accessibility related problems being faced by public and enhancing accessibility in the built environment, transportation sector and ICT ecosystem in India by resolving complaints received. This app would enable the Vyangchun and general public to bring to notice accessibility-related issues that require redressal. The vision and direction for this crowdsourcing app is based on Jan Bhagidari for improving accessibility in our country. Access the photo digest an accessibility guidebook for enhancing understanding of the requirements and specifications of accessibility among professionals, government officials and officers, architects, engineers of various executing agencies has been launched. 9.12 the policy outlines the following measures to create a barrier-free environment for PWTs, enabling them to have an equal access to all facilities and services as that of others. First point, all local bodybuilding bylaws will incorporate accessibility standards specified under the harmonized guidelines for the barrier-free environment and space standard for PWGs and elderly are those specified under the National Building Code. Second point, all the central ministries or departments and states UTs, that is Union Territories, will ensure that every new public building conforms to the accessibility standards at the planning stage and the cost estimate will take into consideration accessibility features as per applicable norms. point the architectures and civil engineers and their associations will be sensitized so as to ensure inculcation of accessibility as well as universal design culture in all the public infrastructure. Point. The curriculum for engineering such as civil, electrical, mechanical, electronics, computer science, architecture, town planning, instrumentation, IT, etc. should have a component of accessibility and universal design. Fifth point, the states and union territories will work out an action plan for making all their existing buildings accessible in a time-bound manner. Sixth point, all new passenger buses will have accessibility features and the existing passenger buses will be phased out in a time-bound manner. Seventh point, efforts will be made to promote accessible passenger car for PWDs and accessible cab facilities will be made available at the airports, railway stations, 
bus stops etc drivers of such vehicles will be sensitized and also trained about the needs of pwds point efforts to be made to make railway including metro coaches platforms and services being offered inside the train and platforms accessible for pwds in time bound manner in point all the international or domestic airports will have to meet the accessibility norms all new airports or upgradation of airports will have to incorporate universal designing principles the services in the airport including facilities at screening and security checkup and boarding and deboarding facilities should comply with accessibility norms ministry of civil aviation will issue comprehensive guidelines for compliance by airport authorities and airlines tenth point the ships vessels ports dockyards jetties and inland water terminals will have accessibility features on the principle of universal design for seamless use by pwds 11 point all websites both government and private will meet the government of india guidelines as amended from time to time at the time of granting security clearance for hosting any new website meity will develop a system of checking compliance with the accessibility standards Twelfth point: All mobile apps, which are relevant for use of public in general, should comply with accessibility standards. Thirteenth point: All TV content, films. documentaries and videos will have sign language interpretation or closed captioning facilities for persons with hearing impairment and audio description for persons with visual impairment 14th point ministry of information and broadcasting will issue guidelines to all broadcasters to conform to the accessibility standards while broadcasting their programs 15th point all the concerned ministries departments will issue guidelines containing the accessibility standards in respect of the facilities and services being covered under the domain in a time bound manner 16th point the domain regulators such as real estate regulatory authorities that is r e r a in respect of public buildings and the telecom regulatory authority of india that is trai in respect of telecommunications will be 
responsible for ensuring compliance of these standards. Such ministries are departments where there is no specific domain regulator will be responsible to develop mechanism to ensure compliance of these standards. 17th point, Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways, that is M-O-R-T-H, will issue necessary guidelines for making modification in the personal vehicles being used by the persons with disabilities as per requirement. 18th point, use of sign language interpretation in meetings being organized by states, union territories, and other ministries or departments should be mandatory.